guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with Simply Sabrina and we are doing a get to know me video. Yeah, you may remember me from Sonali's Instagram. We collabed a little while back mm -hmm. and did this like big giveaway yeah. for our followers. Probably do another one soon. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited to be here. We're actually at my house yeah. because um, by the luck of it, Sonali had to come back to Georgia yeah. and we were like, we have to make this happen. Mm -hmm. So um, she's helping me set up my YouTube channel mm -hmm. and I'm so excited to be on her channel today. Yeah, so today we are doing a video on my channel and her channel. So after this video, don't forget to go on her channel and check it out. There will be a link in the description box below. So today we're gonna be doing a get to know us video. Mm -hmm. um, we've actually known each other for over five years. Yeah. So, I actually did pageants and she was my pageant coach. Yeah. That was a really long time ago. Yeah. She, um, she knew all my awkward stages. It was, it there was were none. Weird. There were none. There were none. <laughs> so, um, but we are so excited because we are getting to know each other more uh -huh. and we wanted to share that with you guys. Yeah. So let's get started. What is your favorite lip product right now? I really like the ColourPop Libby Sticks. I say dose of colors um, in the color cork. What's your color? Oh, um, I like Ziggy is my favorite. It's like this hmm. terracotta red. Huh. I actually think you might like it for like someone who likes brown. Yeah, hmm. I might check it out. Okay, do you get your brows threaded or waxed? Threaded. Me but too. I, but I just heard about somebody who does waxing uh -huh. in like the local Atlanta area uh -huh. and she kind of looks incredible. So hmm. I might do my first wax, but I love threading. I know, it gives like the perfect shape to your yeah. brows. And yeah. like, I don't know. I I personally can't go back. I've, I I've never it. I've never waxed before, so this is really first time. okay. Yeah, so I feel like I need to like try it just mm -hmm. so I can like knock it off a bucket list. Yeah, for sure. Do you prefer cream products or powder products, like contour kits or anything like that? Oh, powder products. Really? I, I like cream. I don't know how to blend properly. Can you okay. teach me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think if I could blend better, because I see okay. people who do like you know like the strokes everywhere, and then they blend oh, yeah. it all together with like their Kardashian. Yeah, and, and they. Wearing. Um, blend it with like their beauty blender. It looks uh -huh. amazing. When yeah. I try to do it, I'm like, no, I need a powder that I can control the, mm -hmm. the consistency. Personally, I like cream products just because like it gives that full glam look, like yeah. super full coverage. But if I'm going for like a quick thing, then I prefer powder all the way. That's fair. Um, what's your favorite curling iron brand? Um, right now I have Numi, but it's actually like breaking, like legit. It started breaking yesterday, so funny that you asked me this. And I really think I want to buy the Bombay hair one. Ah, I heard about that. Or like the Tamana one. Have yeah, you heard yeah, of it? yeah, 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 yeah. So um, because they're supposed to be really. Isn't Tamana's brand at Bombay hair? Like it's. The yeah, same yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I use the Beach Weaver. Have you heard of it? Oh my god. Yeah, maybe you should I, check that one out. Yeah, I. Okay, that's true. Because it's this. It's like the official brand of the Victoria's Secret fashion show, yes. and you can yeah. like leave the ends out and do like a wanded look, mm -hmm. or you could like do big curls and brush yeah. it out and do Hollywood waves. Like okay. There's just so many different options. Okay. And it's an automatic barrel. So yeah. you literally hold it down and it yeah. spins it. Are you ever afraid it's gonna get like stuck in your hair? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Really? It's actually really good. Uh, favorite straightener brand? Um, Badless. I don't know how to say it. It's like baby list. Baby yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. I love it. Like okay. had it since seventh grade and I love, love, love it. Uh, so I was a big fan of the Chi. That's what I had mm -hmm. since growing up. But yeah. um, after like 10 years, mm -hmm. I took it overseas and the voltage like oh, broke no. on me. So I now use the dry bar oh, okay. treatment. I saw and, that. I and saw I love it, it in there and I was like so jealous. I was like dry bar, I just want to touch it. Like, no, it's, <laughs> it's really good. I definitely yeah. recommend it if you're looking for one. I would, would have never known to go with that. Yeah. But it's okay. good. How long do you take to get ready for an event? I think I take about an hour. Really? Maybe. Is that your longest? I mean, I've definitely taken longer, yeah. but I, for an average for an event, I think it would take me about 30 minutes to do my hair, 30 minutes wow. to do my makeup. Okay, well I take like the whole day to be honest. <laughs> like, I like to like relax, like not be rushed, yeah, you know, but then like literally spend like maybe three hours getting ready. Just like, I know, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't see know. that. I, I can definitely see that. Like, though. I just like chill, watch YouTube videos, get ready and stuff like that, so I'm not like super rushed. All right, I like it. When did you start blogging and how long have you been doing it? So I started blogging before blogging was cool. Okay. Um, I think I did it. Trendsetter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so I think I started in like 2011. Okay. Um, so it's been like six years. Wow, that's crazy. So I started on YouTube, then I got into like the blogging scene. Um, and I started back in 2013, I think. So it's been like four years. Um, I've been like off and on in the beginning, but now I'm like. Yeah, no, definitely. No, I like, this is from when I was serious. Like yeah. I think uh, you probably have to add on another two years of being not serious. Yeah. So wow. it's probably 
haven't been like this for eight years. Wow. If you can master any hairstyle, what would it be? It would definitely have to be braids. No, mine too. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I follow this girl, her name's Hair by Chrissy, um, and she does these amazing braids, like like thick braids. Like I like the pull apart ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, same. Cool. Same. And mine too. Like I would love to learn how to master like crown braids and mm -hmm. cluster braids yeah. and just like the whole thing. Like yeah. I'd love to just like do my hair in braids every day. For sure. Me too. What is your dream job? Ooh, this is hard. Okay. Um, I think like going into college, I really just in general wanted to get into the entertainment industry. And um, before I knew like how much stuff goes on behind the scenes, I wanted to be like an entertainment host. Okay. So. That's fair. Yeah. Um, so like I do love what I do and I mm -hmm. love I love vlogging and I mm -hmm. love um owning my something that's my own mm -hmm. um, and just having like the creative freedom to yeah. do it. But if I like didn't have to worry about like salary or hours or yeah. like any of that, I, I think I'd love teaching. I could totally see that. You you would be like that one fashionable like school <laughs> teacher, like everyone would love. I, I just like really enjoy breaking things down, explaining things uh -huh. to people. I think that's played a big role mm -hmm. in um, when I was like captured with my dance teams, when yeah. I was a pageant coach. Oh my god, yeah. Um, and I did some volunteer work um, teaching adults like uh -huh. for GED training. What is the best thing to happen to you this year? Um, so it kind of happened last year, but it's like going into this year, I got a position on my sorority council. And I just realized that it's so cool to put like your passion to work yeah. and like kind of give back to like something that's given you so much, like a second home and like a second family kind of thing. I love that. Yeah. Okay, I love that. What's your position? Um, Vice President of Public Relations. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's so it's really, really cool. great. Yeah. So there's been a lot of really exciting things happen to me. Mm -hmm. um, recently, I just started a new job mm -hmm. and I'm really excited about that because I have been doing the same thing for about three years and mm -hmm. was just kind of ready for something new. Yeah. Um, and I am in the entertainment industry, so Ooh. that's kind of exciting. <laughs> um, but I recently, well, like four months ago, got oh. a dog. I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so Theo has become such a big part of me and mm -hmm. my husband's life. And we, we just were so nervous about getting him mm -hmm. because we've never grown up with pets like either of us really like no pets in the house like not even like a goldfish wow um so taking care of like a real live thing yeah. was really tough like, yeah. in the beginning but i think we were in like a bit of a rhythm now are you dating anyone if so how long oh man that's hard to get married yeah. <laughs> no um the only person i'm dating is the same person i've been dating um it's my husband we were together seven years before we got engaged and we got engaged between getting engaged and getting married it was three years so almost oh, at, wow yeah so almost at by the time we got married it was almost 10 years mm -hmm. and we just wow. celebrated our two-year wedding anniversary oh, congratulations thank you mm -hmm. so it's two year, uh, 12 years in all so as you guys probably know i have a boyfriend named ryan and we've been together since sophomore year of high school, so like about like five years almost. That's when me and Sarah started dating. Oh, uh -huh. sophomore year of high school. Maybe it's just like a good year. To Maybe it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk again seven years down the road. Yeah. <laughs> what is your dream honeymoon? Or for you, like what did you do? Okay. Um, I actually think my dream honeymoon was my honeymoon. Really? That's yeah. Good. So we actually did um, a like half land and half mm -hmm. sea. We went to Western Europe. Um, so we did Granada, went to Spain for a little while, and then we flew back up to Barcelona and got on a cruise. And we um, did this like really fancy like princess cruise all over Europe. And we like went to Paris, um, or went to France, we went to um, Montenegro, which was, well, like, I would never go there yeah, yeah. randomly, but it was probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Um, we did Florence and Rome, and um, kind of like every morning you woke up in a new city. Wow, that's really cool. And it was because you didn't have to like check your luggage with you. Yeah. Or like, oh, like rush to take a flight or check into a new hotel yeah. every day. Like all your stuff lives in this like really fancy suite. It's yeah. like always being made up. And you yeah. have a really nice dinner every night. Mm -hmm. But every day when you wake up, you can like disembark on the ship at like 6 a.m. and yeah. you have till 6 p.m. So you have 12 hours in this awesome new city yeah. that you can explore uh -huh. and then not have to take any of your stuff and everything's still there. I feel like my dream honeymoon would probably be anything like tropical. Like yeah, I love the sure. beach, like anything like that, like maybe like Bahamas or like Turks and Caicos. Yeah. Just like anything with really, really beautiful blue water. Somewhere I could just like spend all day in the ocean. Ryan gets really sunburned and like beautiful, <laughs> so like, I don't know about him, but I'm gonna get my husband <laughs> over there. That's amazing. No, you'll you'll love it. It's definitely good to just like relax. That's mm -hmm. the biggest thing. Is that after, especially after like a crazy wedding, yeah. you just want to relax. 
that's true. So now we're gonna do some rapid fire questions. We've been kind of like explaining our answers a little bit, yeah. but we're gonna be like fast with these answers. So like this, one to two words. Yeah. So this will be super interesting. And really hard. Yeah. So you love to talk. Yeah, I love <laughs> to talk. Okay, I'll start. Ready? Okay. Okay. What type of foundation? Uh, Makeup Forever HD Stick. Favorite brand of flats? Um, Sam Edelman. Okay. Uh, favorite purse brand? Aldo. That's really good purse. Ooh, uh, Twitter or Instagram? Um, Instagram. Center part or side part? Middle. Middle part changed me. Okay. Um, lash extensions or falsies? Falsies. Okay, would you rather dress comfy or fancy? Comfy. Do you prefer your hair straightened or curled? Curled. Where did you go to college? University of Georgia. Get off. And lastly, what brand do you wish you could work with? I would love to work with Victoria Birch. So that was our video for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Yeah, I loved learning more about you. I know, me too. It was really fun. I definitely feel like I need to like try all the brands that you suggested. Now. Oh yeah, same here. Like I need to try that um, terracotta color. Yeah, pop. it's yeah. Um, Ziggy ColourPop okay. stick. All right, it's $5. Oh it's my amazing. God. Did you know ColourPop is launching at Sephora? Yeah, I've heard. Oh my God, yeah. life changing. Like why would I ever buy something that's super expensive? I know, I know, that's so true. I'm so excited. Let us know if you guys want to see more videos with us together and we'll definitely collab more during the summertime and winter yeah. break and stuff like that when I'm back in Georgia. Don't forget to check out Simply Sabrina, the blog, and her YouTube channel. She's yeah. just launching it and I'm so excited we got to set up this cool little space. So it was really fun. Thanks and for it, coming over. Yeah, no problem. It kind of gave me inspiration for my video space. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thanks for helping me set up and I'm so happy to be on your channel. Yay! I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.